Welcome back guys to some more Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 beta action. If you're enjoying the videos that we've been putting up so far, be sure to leave a like down below. But in the previous video, we actually checked out the zombie quest and sort of jumped into the backyard battleground and to try that out. But I thought, nah, we've got to try this out on the plant side as well, of course. It's going to be in a separate video, so be sure to check out the zombie version of this video. Because it, it was intense, guys. It's intense. And it seems that the quest that we did in our zombie version actually pinned as well to our multiplier on the plant side which is very cool indeed it means you can level up your multiplier with multiple quests it doesn't mean it has to be zombies it can be plants zombies and multiplayer which is fantastic but let's have a look at these quests you just received vanquish 10 zombies as a, any rose okay can't do that because we are going to be the kernel and i'll go through why in a minute grow five of any weed or dandelion from dirt piles Grow five pot plants, can't do them, use the rose abilities, get 11 vanquishes as a plant. So I was saying that you could pick up these two, where you can grow five pot plants or bots as a zombie. But I haven't got any at the moment, I haven't done any sticker shop things. I'm going to do that in a separate video guys, I'm going to try and cover everything I can in this beta. So let's see what it's like on a plant's perspective. Let's pick up the plant's quest and go in as the kernel. But yeah, I chose the kernel just because I want to use his shield ability. So I'm going to obviously go up to there and start that flag capturing shenanigans again. Once again, if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm on about the flag capturing, be sure to check out the zombie version of this video. It does cover a lot more introduction stuff or new player stuff for new players. Obviously, you can do your quest without trying to capture the flag, but capturing the flag just gives you more gold. It gives you more experience. It brings a lot more zombies in. So just finish him off. Oh, yo, incoming, incoming. Right, let's raise the flag. Let's raise the flag. We know what we're doing here. You've got to capture the point. It's a wave by wave thing. Let's see if we can let's see if we can kill them. Where, where are they incoming from? I, I see I see the signs. Zombies incoming. Luckily though, compared to uh plants, we, zombies don't have projectiles to start off with. Like the sunflowers and pea shooters, they were intense at the start. Like, they were literally intense at the start. And I'm not getting hit as much. That's fantastic. I'm actually I, I I'd say I'm doing a lot better on my first wave than I was as a zombie. And you earn coins, by the way, guys. Obviously, you can grow these potted plants that would give you more coins as well. And more defense, which is just a given. But I, once again, have not gone to the sticker shop. It's not cool. But it, overall, I do like the backyard battleground. I said this in the last video. It's just it's a quick and easy way to level up. And not everyone constantly wants to play multiplayer matches. I know there's not a storyline to the game. But this is a single player element that is that was heavily needed in the first one. Over, say, split screen or just sort of just wave by wave option they had. Like, I know this is a practically, like replica of the wave of like wave on wave game mode that they had but they've added different elements they made the battleground bigger they've made it so it's actually plants versus zombies not random maps it's his own like battleground for it and you've got the questing system to go with it you're able to get more gold coins and stuff it's just it's a lot more fun than the first one i think i personally have my own opinion on it but now the pirate zombies are incoming so we have to try and take these out these guys are ranged so this is something we're gonna have to watch out for they're incoming right now, Daddy. Oh, oh, yo, yo, you can see he's trying to take me out from the side. There we go. This is where the shield is actually going to come in clutch. You just need to get him down. Focus on them one by one. That's all I'm going to say. As you can see, the pirates compared to the brown coats have a lot more. Um, what is it? I would say health or just survivability to say like these brown coats are dying in one whereas these are taking like a good two hits I know it's a laser but you can feel the hit marker like you can literally feel the hit marker you can see the damage indicator coming up we have to take this out though just so we can get reinforcements of our own I know they were so useful in the zombie side like I would have died if I did not have the reinforcements but luckily we've got the reinforcements these gold ones that have like those special character guys actually give you more bonus Bonus coins, so you want to take them out as fast as you can. There we go, extra coins, and we're getting we're getting destroyed. We're getting destroyed left, right, and center, guys. You need to focus on them. Once you're getting hit from like every direction, literally just try and focus as much as you can. Follow the damage indicators and just turn your head, guys. I could go and get those coins. In fact, I'm gonna go get those coins. I want those coins. Literally, I want those coins. And we're moving while we do this as well. So we're, we're on the move. We're a moving target. We're constantly gonna be able to get all of these things. Oh, yo, yo, that was an, that was like a turret from the zombie's base. That wasn't part of the, the domination mode. But we do have to get back into the flag. Our stay will take it, which is not cool. 
And you can see we haven't even dropped below a quarter health yet. We're still just above a quarter health. Now we're at quarter health. Three quarters health, sorry. We've only dropped a quarter health. Where's this guy incoming from? Right there. Couldn't see him. I'm trying to use the sort of face indicators to show where all the enemies are if you can't see them. But if they are in sight of you and you still can't see them, it won't show up the indicators, which is, is kind of annoying. I kind of lie. I hate having to look. I, I like being told where things are. And I believe we're f the third round in now. So what's going to spawn now? Let's have a look. There we go. What was That's another um, special mob that's going to drop coins. I actually want to try and let him come in closer to me because I do not want to run out into the background to chase all of the coins. No? Effort. That would be so much effort. Can you imagine it? Ugh! Oh, it's scientists. It's scientists now. So their shotgun damage is going to... Their shotgun damage is going to be heavy. I was about to say destroying, but it's not really the word for it, is it? It's going to be heavy shotgun damage. Yo. 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 You can see our health dropping. No. No. Into ball mode. Into ball mode. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Took out a few there, I'm pretty sure. Now we can get our shield back up as well. Actually, stop taking as much damage... I'm, I'm trying to follow these damage indicators as much as I can, but they're literally just left, right, and center. Reinforcements crates incoming. What reinforcements do I even get? Like, I didn't even see a reinforcement last time. I didn't even know what came out. I assumed it was, like, a pea shooter, because if I didn't see it, it must have been a small flower, let's be honest. The other zombie guy was very obvious. He was a, It was a Superman zombie AI that came to help us, which is so useful. Literally, it was so useful. It saved me quite a bit. But... The AI on this side is not quite noticeable. I didn't even see anything. Like, literally, yeah, I didn't even see anything. That's kind of weird. If there's more zombies in the domination zone than you, by the way, they will start capturing it. So be sure of that. Try not to train the zombies too much. Or if you're playing a zombie, try not to train the plants too much within the actual flag domination zone because they will capture it. And if you train them for too long, they'll just take it over and it'll count as a loss. Which you obviously do not want that clutch shield. Nah, nah. Right, he's coming in from the right. Let's try and take him out with a grenade. Ah, oh, ah, oh, because we moved our crosshairs, the grenade moved with it. No, I thought it stayed in the same position. I thought it stayed in the same position. Where are they? Some guy come about, um, behind me. The scientists really do strafe as well, don't you? You can see these uh, zombie AIs literally going straight for me. Nice little level up there. So hunt. But yeah, the scientists seem to like strafe and act more as like actual players when being shot at. Uh, well, well, he didn't. I'm guessing he didn't know what strafing was, because he's there and he didn't survive. But yeah, you can see they're not coming directly for you all of the time, which is fair enough. It is kind of helpful, them being a little bit weird on the movement mechanics. What am I being shot from? Literally, it's coming out of nowhere. Like, what is it? Where? Oh, now we've got engineers, but we are doing a hell of a lot better than we did last time. I cannot lie. Like, literally, we're doing a hell of a lot better. And, ah, oh, 14 damage. We hit him for some damage. That's all I can say. I need to focus these engineers. Yo, where are they? Oh, big, heavy, like, engineer packs in clown. Yo, quadruple kill. Uh, oh, oh, no. No, my shield's going to drop. And my um, charge, my laser ran out of charge. When you don't want to overheat it, by the way. Like, you can feel it overheating in a sense. You know, like, you can feel the pressure building up, the vibration in your controls, which will obviously tell you when it's going to overheat. Where's the reinforcement crate? Let's get that open, see if actually anything comes up. But... Once it's like about to overheat, just let go of the trigger and reinitiate it. It only takes like a second or two. And that actually resets its cooldown, allowing you to fire again. Whereas if you let it overheat and then reinitiate it, it takes about three seconds, I'd say, five seconds maybe, before you can actually sort of use it again, which is just it's like reload time, it's sort of down. You don't want to be waiting that long to reload and be able to use your laser again. It's just it's too long, man. It's too long. No! No, zombies incoming. Zombies incoming. I don't even think I got that crate. Honestly, don't think I got that crate. It was over there, wasn't it? Did the zombies destroy it? If the zombies destroy it, do you not get your AI, potentially, perhaps? I wonder. Oh, uh, there's still someone shooting me from somewhere. I actually think the one, like, getting fired from over there is a zombie turret. I genuinely think that's a zombie turret. Dead. I could feel it in my control about to actually just, like overheat and I was able to stop it just let go of the trigger and let it recharge which is cool it's very cool and very useful but I honestly think we're gonna die on this rave we're like at 80 we're at 76 health because of their AoE damage they're sort of grenade launchers as the engineer they're able to shoot the ground and still get AoE damage on me which is not is not cool same with the pea shooters as well to be fair so a pea shooter may actually be very useful in this situation what's that what's this Oh, 250 coins. Oh, we get more and more coins. And now we're on to the All-Stars. Okay. 
This is going to be hard. I cannot lie. This is going to be really hard. And the grenade has... Uh, what is it? Full. So, it's like bullet drop. That's what it's called. Brilliant. Did not clock that. Actually did not clock... Oh! Oh! Jesus! Yo, they're pelting me. They're actually pelting me. I'm not even joking right now. Could you see how many, like, went on me then? And I just got charged. How has he not got a gun? What? Why is he not... Oh, my God. They're just going to... They're all going to charge me the minute they get into line of sights, aren't they? We want to keep them, like, as far away as possible. Damn! Leave me alone! God damn it! Leave me alone! Please! Get out of my flag area as well. Get out. Literally get out. Why have some of them got guns and some of them not? The ones that haven't got guns keep charging me, Matt. Oh, uh, there we go. Reinforcements crate delivered. Where's the reinforcements crate? I genuinely think I need that right now. Like, I honestly need that so bad. I, I can't see the reinforcement crate. There it is. Let's try and get this out of the way and done. It's not cool that those zombies were incoming. And we're at, we're getting pelted again. We're getting pelted. Can we get the reinforcements? Nah. We can't go for those reinforcements. Else we will quite literally die. Like, literally, we will die. And can we do this though? Yeah. Uh, uh. Yes, we've got a few there. But that unfortunately has killed us. Like, literally, no doubt about it. That's killed us. I need to get out of this. And get my shield up. Try and get my shield up. There we go. That's helped us out a little bit, I guess. But we're still getting pelted from behind. Is this the end? Yes, it's the end. But did you see how many coins and how many waves we went through then compared to when we were playing on the zombies? That, that was intense. I like that. that. That was so much better than the zombies. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy the sort of overview of the... Yo, stop attacking me, bro. Uh, I'm not in your domination point anymore. I'm not in your domination point, I promise. Let's get that on the go, see if we can get any kills before we go back to the backyard, get back to safety. We need to go in. Like, there's no way we're going to survive this if we're out here. We just need to let them come round the corner and take them out as they come round. There we go. All coming round. We've got some plants helping us. Maybe it's those plants that are helping us in our domination zone. I believe they're just randomly spawning ones, though, the small ones. Not quite sure. We need to kill this guy and actually just get... Yo! He, he did insane damage. He brought, me, he brought me down to 133. That's ridiculous. Let me just kill this guy though and get in... I think it's bonus coins? Yeah, it's bonus coins. He Luckily, he got time warped by that rose. There we go. Nice extra bonus coin collection. But yeah, that's the plant side of the background battle guard. Backyard battle... Back, blah, blah, blah. See, my words just... My words aren't, aren't working. The backyard battleground with the whole questing implementation. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below. Check out our channel for plenty of other games and plenty of other Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 action. Subscribe if you want to see more. And until next time, guys, thanks and bye.